Are you teaching the same course multiple sections? Then this tip is just for you. Cross-listing helps you combine all your sections into one parent section. And once you're cross-listed, anything you update in your parent section will be trickled down to your child sections. Now, you do have an option to have different due dates, assignments, different discussions, different announcements. You do have that flexibility. But keep in mind, you should not cross-list your section if you have any student submissions. Yes, the grades will be transferred, but the submissions will be lost. So if you are teaching multiple sections, you might want to cross list before you have any student submissions. So you're not copying the same content into multiple sections. So let's go ahead and take a look on how this is done. Hey, my name is Bhumani Kora. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I am in my Canvas course and I have created a couple of courses that say child one parent one child two parent two so my goal here is to cross list child one into parent one child one into parent one to do that I first have to click on the parent course and I copy the course number so the course number here is 70248 control C I'm going to go back to my dashboard and I'm going to my child course. Canvas likes to call parent and child, so I've used the same verbiage, so it's easy for you to understand. So the child course is the one that's going or cross-listed into the parent course. So here I am in the child course. I'm gonna scroll all the way down and all the way to the left-hand side, you're gonna click on your settings. You're gonna go all the way up, click on your sections, and here you're gonna click on child one. And as soon as you click on the course, you will have an option to cross list this course. So let's go ahead and click on cross list. I'm going to paste the number and I'm gonna click anywhere on the screen. And here, as you can see, the name of the course pops up. I am cross listing my child one into parent one. And I'm going to click cross list and it says section successfully cross listed. Now, when I go back to my dashboard, let me move myself back here. Scroll all the way down. As you can see, the child course or child one is missing. Now let's go into my parent course. Scroll all the way down, move myself again, click on settings. And let's go back to sections here. And as you can see, this parent course has child one and parent one. So I have two sections in this course. So whatever you update in this course will automatically be trickled into the other sections. Now you can have multiple sections cross listed into the parent section. So let's go back to my dashboard here. And let's say I want to cross list my child two into parent one. I'm going to click on the course, go all the way down, click on settings, click on sections, click on the course. And here I'm going to click on cross list this section. And I'm going to enter the course number and click anywhere on the white screen. Make sure and confirm that's the course you want to cross list into and click cross list this section. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Move myself up here. And as you can see that both the child courses are missing. Let's click on parent course. Scroll all the way down to settings. Click on sections. And as you can see, this parent course has two sections, child one and child two. Now, let's just say you accidentally put the child two into parent one, and now you want to put child two into parent two. Don't worry. Click on the course, and here you can say recross list this course. So all you have to do is click on recross list, enter the parent two. You know what? Let me go ahead and copy the course. So I went ahead and copied the course code for parent two. And here I want to change my child two into parent two. So I'm gonna, let me go back again. 
settings sections child 2 I accidentally put child 2 into child 1 I'm going to go ahead and recross list this and enter the parent 2 code click anywhere and as you can see now I have the name of the parent 2 or the course name and click cross list so you do have an option to cross list and recross list the courses just in case you accidentally put one course into the other now let's go back to the dashboard and click on parent 2 click on sections and here I have child 2 in parent 2 and I have child 1 in parent 1 but keep in mind you cannot cross list your sections if you have any student submissions you may want to do this before the semester starts and you can always cross list and re cross list your courses I hope you enjoyed this session I hope you learned something new today if you did please make sure you like and subscribe and if you think it's worth sharing please go ahead and do so and do not forget to comment in the comment section below and let me know if you have a favorite tip that you want to share with me I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams Canvas and technology playlist do not forget to check them out like always happy teaching and please take care of yourself